So in this uh, lecture, we will study Markov chains. So the goal of this series of lecture will be to define Markov chains on uncountable state space. But uh, we will begin with the finite number of states. So let's start. So we can assume uh, that a system uh, that can be any one of a finite or countably infinite number of states. So let let uh, S denote this set of states. Uh, we can assume that S is a subset of integers. And uh, S is called state space of the system. And also, uh, in this series of lecture, we will be assuming that uh, the system be observed at the discrete moments. of time n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and capital X of n denote the state of the system at time n and another thing is uh, we are interested in the system which is uh, non-deterministic so we think of xn as a random variable so think of xn uh, as random variables they are defined on some common probability space sigma and the simplest possible structure uh, we can give on these uh, random variables are that xn are uh, independent that xn are independent x and are independent so this would be a good model uh, because for such system as a repeated experiment in which future state of the system are independent of the past and present states so in most system that arise in practice However, past and present states of the system influence the future states even if they do not uniquely determine them. Now, many systems have the property that given the present state, the past states have no influence on the future. So, another thing is uh, many systems have the property that 
that given the present state the past states have no influence on the future this property is called marco property this property is called markov property now let us define formally uh, the definition of markov property and markov chain so the markov property is defined precisely by the requirement this probability of xn plus 1 is some xn plus 1 given that x0 is equal to x0 x1 is equal to some x1 and xn is equal to xn is same as probability of xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus 1 given xn is equal to xn so you are given that uh, the past history uh, so your present state is in xn plus 1 is some number xn plus 1 small xn plus 1 and you are given a history uh, from 0 to this n but uh, so this is a conditional probability right so given on the in, in past in in it, uh, history history of n states but that uh, is same as is only the previous st history so the present state only depend on the just previous uh, state so this is markov property and a sequence of random variables xn n greater or equal to 0 uh, which satisfies uh, this above uh, property is called Markov chain. That is why it's called the Markov chain. So, why we will study Markov chain? The study of Markov chain is uh, worthwhile from two viewpoints uh, because they have rich history. Number one, they have rich history. much of which can be presented in an elementary level and uh, secondly there are a large number of system there are a large number of systems arising in practice uh, that can be modeled by markov chain so large number of systems arising in practice can be modeled by Markov chain. So in the next lecture we will study an example of Markov chain. So